So um, what I'm getting here is I feel that these this message is pertaining to um, Aries individuals who are dealing with a challenging work situation. And I feel as though you're dealing with a boss or a supervisor or a business partner who is a bit of a tyrant. Or I don't even want to say a bit of a tyrant. They are a tyrant. There's someone who sets the rules and then abuses that power. Okay. Um, I have the impression that you're feeling singled out or you're feeling as if this individual is singling you out. And, and you, there's been some great injustice here. Now, the beginning of the month, I have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So this is telling me that you've invested a lot of time or energy and resources into this job or into this business venture. However, you're now realizing that um, those investments that you've made, you're not receiving the recognition or reward that you feel you deserve. Underneath that, I have the Justice card and the Eight of Cups, and this is telling me that by walking away from this situation which is not serving you, you are going to be balancing the scales because there's been some great injustice. And by walking away, you're realizing now that's the only way that you can balance these scales. Now, um, interestingly enough, the um, Seven of Pentacles guard, character here, he's looking directly at this Seven of, of Rods. And the Seven of Rods I feel like in the past, you've had to defend yourself in this situation. You've had to stand your ground. Perhaps this um, individual that you're dealing with has thrown many different things at you. However, you've always been able to maintain your own. Now that you're realizing you're never going to receive the recognition and rewards that you feel you deserve, you are letting go of this fight. You're letting go of the having to defend yourself with this individual. You've just had enough. Now, you are dealing with some worry and concern about finances because the King of Pentacles upright is a man who, it can be man or woman, okay? But it's a person who, um, <clears throat> they typically are very good with their finances. Um, they have strong resources, financial resources, strong investments. They usually have like a savings and um, in the reverse, this is telling me that either you're going to have to use your resources or use your savings to help you get through this month. Also, you are worried about finances. Now, I want to point out that this King of Pentacles is looking at the Justice card. And the Justice card, again, this is upright and these scales are balanced. So what this is telling me is whatever debts you have to pay this month, you are going to be able to cover them. However, remember that these scales are balanced. Therefore, you don't want to overspend because you may put yourself in a situation where you're not able to meet those obligations. So just be careful with your spending this month. Um, and no, don't worry so much about covering what's necessary because you will be able to. Now, next to the Seven of Wands reversed, I have the Two of Swords reversed. And what I'm seeing here is, in the past, you've had a difficult time making this decision to perhaps leave a situation that's not serving you. And this woman is blindfolded in this card. It's saying that you haven't wanted to face reality or deal with what is truly going on. Um, perhaps you've had some fears or, or insecurities about how you are going to get out of this situation or manage this situation. Perhaps you've just been prolonging making this decision because you've been hopeful that things will pan out. But now this month, with this being in reverse, you're realizing that you need to make this decision and, and, and choose one of these options, either to stay or to go. And underneath this King of Pentacles, I have the Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords is someone who, she's been through some rough times. She um, now has come out more wise, more intelligent. And she has some strong clarity about where she stands and how she's going to proceed. If we look at these two cards together, we see that this card is a woman who's blindfolded. She has two swords, so her hands are full. She's not able to fully accept anything new or move past where she's presently at. But with you making this decision, you're going to come out as the Queen of Swords. You see this woman has her sword raised. Again, she's been through some rough times, 
So she is um, wielding this sword. If anybody tries to throw any BS at her, she will defend herself. This is someone who does not deal with BS. So any BS offers that may come in that are ingenuine, she's not going to accept. But she does now have a hand open and free. And she is no longer blindfolded. So she's able to accept something new, new opportunities coming her way. Underneath that two of swords reversed, I have the strength card reversed and the nine of swords reversed. This is telling me that, yes, you may be feeling a lack of strength or courage this month, and you may be dealing with some strong um, feelings of depression or sadness, fear, anxiety, maybe some strong restlessness or hopeless night, or hopeless, I want to say sleepless nights. Um, however, with the empress that fell out while I was shuffling, this is telling me, you know, this is the mother of the tarot. And so we see this card representing pregnancy very often. And a lot with pregnancy, it can represent uh, a waiting period. Just like with pregnancy, there's a waiting period for a baby to be healthy enough to be born. So this is telling me, you have waited long enough. You've had to maybe wait, even if you're not aware of it. Um, divine intervention is at play here. And divine timing. So it is now time, the universe is saying, it's now time for you to move past this situation which no longer serves you into something better. You've learned whatever you needed to learn out of this circumstance and you are moving forward now. Things, this is a time where things are coming to fruition. Okay? So I'm going to take some sabias on this and we'll get some more clarity. So on the king of pentacles I have in the past um, there's been some hope in this situation but you felt trapped you felt like a prisoner you've been dealing you've had hope however you're you just haven't felt like you can really move around you felt trapped you felt like someone is holding something over you and that's very much the characteristics of this emperor in reverse then we have the old friend or old acquaintance um, so what this is telling me is perhaps you've stayed as long as you have because you've been, um, you've been very invested into this because you've been there for a while, either in this job or in this position or with this company. Um, however, you feeling like a prisoner, you're feeling trapped. You've had hope that things will get better because of this, but you're realizing you need to let it go. This can also be saying on the King of Pentacles reversed, you know, you are worried about finances, but you're hopeful. You're hopeful that things will improve. You feel a little, a little bit trapped in your financially, you know, you're not able to freely spend or move about the way you would like to. And there's an old friend or acquaintance that may be stepping in to help you. Okay. Or old resources coming in, old family members coming in. Um, this can also represent a mother or a grandmother. So it can be a mother or grandmother that helps you through this challenging financial time. I want to look at the Justice card next. So on the Justice card, I have the house. I have the letter writer, so communications, and amalato, a weak situation. So this is something that, you know, this can represent a structure. This can represent... Um, a building where you work and it can also be representing um, like there's a hierarchy or there's um, um, a set um, order in place because sometimes this card it represents that sense of, of, of structure and stability um, so this can be saying that there is going to be justice served there's communication about this situation where you feel very weak, very fragile, um, and insecure about the future of your position with this with this company. Um, this can also be saying with the Justice card, this is affecting your home life in a sense. It is affecting your sense of, of support in how you are going to support yourself and your home. Um, you are receiving communication or you are the one giving communication regarding perhaps leaving this situation because you feel very fragile and weak in this situation. Doing that, you're going to serve justice. 
or justice will be served to you. Now let's look at let's look at the um, strength reversed. I'm just drawn to that card. Okay, strength reversed. There is hope. Um, there's some you know hidden feelings or emotions, thoughts that you've kept to yourself that you are now having to deal with and bring to light. This will be a fortunate turn of events for you and something that you've been longing for will be coming in. So even though you may feel weak and fragile in this situation, know that better things are ahead for you and that this is, again, I feel divine timing, divine intervention stepping in to help you out of a situation where you are not happy, okay? Um, the last card I'd like to look at is the Empress here, since it fell out while I was shuffling. So again, I feel like it's about things, divine timing, things coming to fruition as they should, when they should. So there's farsightedness, looking out into the future, knowing how things may play out. Also, things that we've been waiting for coming in. There's a lot of thinking about this, analyzing our situation and communication about it. So you've been analyzing this for some time. You've been um, knowing maybe that perhaps this may this ending was imminent, that it was on its way, and now we're finally receiving communication that we are leaving the situation. Um, either they're communicating with us or we are communicating with them that we are now um, terminating this agreement or this work situation. Um, that is not serving us. 